legacy of custom harvesting is deeply rooted into Larry and Nancy Schrader's lives and has become a lifestyle over the past 30 years of their custom harvesting career. It began early on for Nancy when she was born and raised a custom harvester's daughter, Dave and Lenora Newfeld. Growing up on the road with her three older brothers, Keith, Bruce, and Doug, Nancy found herself alongside her mom helping her cook for the harvest crew. The day Nancy was old enough to drive, her dad pulled her from the kitchen and changed her job title to truck driver. After graduating with her secretarial degree from Bethel College in North Newton, Kansas, she spent her first summer away from the harvest trails. It wasn't long after that that she met Larry Schrader from Cosell, Kansas, and they married in May of 1985. At the time, Larry had been working in an auto body shop doing detail work and painting cars. In the spring of 86, a year after they were married, Abe approached Larry and Nancy with an option to go custom harvesting. He thought it would be a good opportunity for them. They spent the summer and fall running a John Deere 7720 combine with a 24-foot header and a truck for Abe while they worked alongside Nancy's three brothers. In 1989, Schrader Harvesting was officially formed Larry and Nancy took to the wheat fields running two John Deere 9600s with 30-foot headers. Larry ran two machines until 1995 when they added a third combine and have run three ever since. In 1991, Larry and Nancy welcomed their first son, Scott, followed by twins Lance and Stacy in 1993. On any given day, Scott and Lance would be spotted riding in the combines or trucks while Stacy would help Nancy in the kitchen preparing the meals. As Scott and Lance got older, they became an integral part of the field operation by running the tractor and grain cart, operating the combine, and driving trucks. Likewise, Stacy continued to assist in the kitchen until she transitioned to driving the tractor and grain cart for a couple of summers. Larry and Nancy always find a way to keep family in the business they taught each of their children to work hard, stay committed to what they were doing, and how to stay true to their word. Spending summers away from home is not necessarily what every kid dreams of doing, but for Scott, Stacy, and Lance, they always look forward to going on harvest because of the environment that Larry and Nancy created for them. The family aspect has been one of the things that employees enjoy most about working for Larry and Nancy. During the harvest season, Nancy spends her days cooking for the crew, packing lunches for them to take out in the morning and delivering a hot supper meal that always includes a piece of her homemade bread. The crew has become accustomed to looking forward to a red pickup, pulling into the field, signaling supper time. Along with Nancy's tremendous food, mealtime brings the perfect opportunity to strengthen relationships among the crew. The only complaint left by the crew is that they might have had to buy the next gene size up by the end of the harvest season. Larry's often been found on the other end of the phone when his peers are looking for advice on the financial components of the custom harvesting business. He has said that he learned techniques early on from Nancy's brother, Doug, on how to do financial tracking and computer record keeping. From there, he's self-taught and learn to enjoy the financial side of the business. Larry is known for knowing numbers, often being able to tell down to the penny how much it would cost him to move his machines each mile down the road. He was even featured in the successful farming magazine, recording the financial aspects of the business. Efficiency and innovation have always been a forethought of Larry's, as he's proven that by adapting to the continuous changes in machinery and technology over the years. Precision is a notable trademark of Schrader harvesting, and that's displayed by Larry's streamlined field operation and organization of his machines. Larry never cuts any corners and always treats his customers' crops like they were his own. Larry and Nancy will tell you that over the years, the thing that keeps them coming back to the same places is the enjoyment of the bonds that are formed with their customers who have become some of their closest friends. Joining the U.S. Custom Harvesters organization in the early 1990s contributed to the Schraders finding friendship among the harvesters who they would often see out on the road. This proved to be highly beneficial 
These friendships have allowed them to work as a team to help finish jobs. Larry's hobby of photography has turned into a way to give back to the organization. Larry's the man behind the camera lens at the annual USCHI convention, documenting the event for over the past 10 plus years. USCHI has proved to be an essential part in Larry and Nancy's success as custom harvesters. Larry always starts the season off by finding quality employees to work for him. The way that Larry takes time to invest and get to know each of his employees is second to none. He truly cares for them and it leaves a lasting impact for each individual that works for him. It is evident in how Larry and Nancy live their lives and how they treat their employees that success to them is more than dollars. Instead, it is much more eternal focused. When asked what they were most grateful for, Larry and Nancy said they were grateful to have grown up in a good home where they learned to trust and place their faith in Christ and that things would work out. And it has worked. God has provided for what they needed. Over the last 30 years, Larry and Nancy have made Harvesting with Pride the motto of Schrader Harvesting and subsequently have built an ongoing legacy together. They've learned to persevere through ups and downs in their career and as a result have become an inspiration to their customers, employees, and their family. And it is with great pleasure that Larry and Nancy Schrader are inducted into the 2020 U.S. Custom Harvesters Hall of Fame.